fatigued, nor does he sleep. He doesn't get tired, nor does he sleep. This is real important. I seen one time a person walking down the street with a shirt on saying, God is like Maxwell House coffee. What? Good to the last drop. One of the problems is this person likened the creator of the heavens and the earth to Maxwell House coffee. It's ridiculous. Actually, it's a dishonorable thing to do. Secondly, they gave God an ending. On the shirt, it said he's good to the last drop. Like he stops. Like there's going to be a point where he stops. No. He was here before creation and he'll be here after. He's ever living. Ever living. And he doesn't sleep, nor does he become fatigued. Allah is the creator of everything in the heavens and everything in the earth. Imagine if the, heaven, the, the creator of the heavens and the earth got tired like we get tired from work. Imagine that. Say, man, look, I had enough. I've been up too long. I got to rest. What would happen? He is the one who maintains the swimming of the planets in its orbit. It is he who maintains it. It is he who put them there. So if he became fatigued, sleepy, and tired, what would happen? planets would crash into one another. We, the air that we breathe right now would be taken because he's the maintainer of it. The food that we talked about, the rain, would be no more in existence. No, how do we understand Allah? <coughs> one time, the people came to the Prophet Muhammad and they said, what is the lineage? What is God's lineage? Like, who is he connected to? There was a verse revealed for Surah Al-Ikhlas. Right? This is the, the chapter of purification. Why? Why was it called the chapter of purification? Because after this chapter in the Quran, once the people understood this, their belief system would be straight will be straight after this. Allah said to the Prophet Muhammad, He said, Kulu Allahu Ahad. He said, say to them that Allah is Ahad. And this is different from Wahad. Right? He said, say that Allah is unique. Meaning that there's nothing else like him. You can't make a comparison. You can't say God is like Maxwell House coffee. No, you can't do this. Because somebody who doesn't have a lot of intellect, they may look at Maxwell House Coffee and go, oh, God is like that? No, you can't do this. So the first thing is that realizing that there is nothing like him, as Allah says about himself. Laysa kamitli shayun, for who samiyud basira. Allah said there is nothing likened unto him. Meaning you can't make any comparisons, you shouldn't be drawing pictures. Saying God looks like this. What's that? Michelangelo, he did the, the what is it, the 16th chap chapel? You know that picture they have in the ceiling? Two naked men. Where's the word naked? Naked? <laughs> Two men without any clothes on, and they say one is God and the other one is Adam. Ridiculous. And the people are not offended by this. I'm telling the human beings, they say, oh, that's art. It's beautiful. When I learned this, I said, that's crazy. That's crazy. How dare the human being use the hand that Allah gave him and his eyes, right, and the paper to disfame the Lord of the heavens and the earth. How dare you do such a thing? The one who makes sure you have your food and your sustenance from one day to the next, you, go, you have the nerve to try and draw something you've never seen? How is that possible? And look at Allah's mercy. Still, for that poor fool who did that, he still gives him food. He still gives him drink. It's ridiculous. No, there's nothing likened unto him. Do we understand that point? Nothing likened unto him. So whatever you've seen of people drawing any pictures saying that that's God, know that that's not him. Uh-oh. Shut down.
something to eat. No. So just to finish the, the uh, surah, the chapter, he said, Kulu Allahu Ahad, say that Allah is one, he's unique, there's nothing like in, uh, like in under him. Kulu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad, that Allah, he is self-sustaining. He doesn't need water, food, nothing. He doesn't need what we need. He doesn't need air. He doesn't need fried chicken from KFC. He doesn't, he doesn't need companionship the way he made us. He doesn't need those things. Whatever it is that we need, he is not in need of it. So he said, Kulu Allahu Ahad, Allahu Samad. Lam Yalid wa Lam Yulad. This is real important. He said that he wasn't born, nor does he give birth. Mm, seems like he got doubly quiet. He wasn't born. He didn't come from between the legs of a woman. And this is not filthy speech. This is a reality. This is where we came from. Where do you think you came from? The table? <laughs> from our mothers. No, Allah was not born. He wasn't born. He didn't come out the way we see babies. I have 12 children. Most of them I seen born. They blood all over. Come on, man. This is what we think. Stop thinking about the 12 children. Listen. <laughs> this is what we think. That Allah was born like that? No. Because people make the mistake of saying that Jesus is God. But he was born from Mary. And God said that he was not born. Nor does he give birth. Nor does he give birth. Nor does he give birth. So that means Mary's not a God either. And now I'm not trying to attack anything. We're just trying to bring what I mentioned earlier. It's called what? Proofs. That's it. So after he said, Lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakullahu kufu man ahad. He said he wasn't born nor does he give birth. And there is again nothing likened unto him. There's no similitude to him. We can't go and make movies with Spielberg and he come up with this beautiful scene and say, that's how I envision God. You're wrong. No, it can't be done. We haven't seen him, but we know that he exists. And so we have to stop now as the brothers wanted to uh, make the prayer and then come back. And I'm sorry if we didn't have a chance to finish all of the questions that were there, but hopefully we'll be able to um, answer some of the questions after we make our prayer. Uh, and again, I thank you all for your patience. Uh, again, subhanakallahumma bihamdika wa shayla.